Nothing we do on this side of the border is going to be a game changer for Mexico. Um, if we could stop half the arms coming across, it's not going to be a game changer. If we could stop, you know, double the amount of money that we, we're capturing, it's not going to be a game changer. But it's still important to do. It's incredibly important to do. Um, it, because it's also one of the things we can do. We don't have a lead in the U.S. government on this, um, particularly when you look at money laundering. We actually have not had an effective coordinated strategy across agencies. We've done very well in counterterrorism. Again, I'm not sure that's been the, the greatest blow that we've struck against terrorist groups either. But it, but it has been an important element of what we've done in counterterrorism. We have not done the same thing in terms of money laundering. Um, what we've ended up doing is things like southbound inspections that are largely ineffective at the border. Going after finding the safe houses where money is gathered, um, place how the, the arms trail is, is done. And by the way, Fast and Furious was actually onto something. Controversial statement, but the folks in Fast and Furious were actually trying to do the right thing. They did it terribly. If anyone from ATF is out there, my sympathies. I think the ATF was trying to do the right thing with the incapacity to actually do it right. But beginning to, to come up with a diagram of how these things work. Beginning to have the same kind of intelligence on these organizations. How do the CETAs operate when they cross the border in the United States? We tend to treat them as a law enforcement issue once they cross into the US. We don't have the same kind of mapping we do in Mexico. And very final point of the final point is on consumption, we're not going to be able to do much in the short term. But in the long term, this is the big issue, right? Consumption, most people, we're talking about a business that's largely driven by cocaine. If we believe the RAND report, which is actually the best thing we got, about half of the money going into the Mexican organizations are cocaine, is from cocaine. About 25 to 30 percent is heroin and meth. Beginning to think how we go after the heavy users of those drugs, not in a punitive way. In fact, most of these folks are already in the criminal justice system. But in an effective <laughs> way, since a lot of these people are already in the criminal justice system, and Mark Kleinman's work is very good on this, how do we begin to look at, at ways of get, creating incentives for people who are in the criminal justice system to stay off drugs? Because if we can go after the heavy users, um, there's a good chance that we could actually lower the market over time. We're not going to get rid of it, but we could lower the market significantly.